Hello everyone, welcome back to the Everton career mode where Frank Lampard has been sacked and we have taken over. As you can see, there's the team that we left off with. Um, so going into a short list of players, um, I looked at the squad and what I can see is what we need is a very reliable right back for, you know, backup play. And same for a cam, like we've only got a war, uh, there's no one else really filling that gap. I have thought about recalling Deli Ali. You know, maybe uh, it's time for him to come back under a new manager um, and see if he can prevail under ourselves. And here you can see the list of players that we still got to get rid of: Jakovic, Lonergan, Price, Welch, Townsend, John, and Sims. Obviously, some of them are loans as well as transfers. We go into the first game of the season against Nottingham Forest. We do have our press conference. Um, you know, press conferences are, are pretty much the regular thing on FIFA. There's always the same questions asking you whether you think you should be finishing in the bottom half, top half. And, you know, we go with the, the very strong options all the time. Um, you know, I think this is a very decent team that we can prevail with this season. You know, we are aiming for mid-table. Um, I don't think we'll go anywhere near the bottom half. Um, I think we've got a very strong side. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you the the output of the press conferences. It's not something I'm going to do every game. It's I normally sim these and just get on with the games. But I just thought I'd show the gameplay uh, so you guys get to see, you know, what this is about. Because some of you don't play career mode. You you know you stick to ultimate team, so you don't get to see the new features that they add. Um, obviously, this is like I say, it is it is very relatively the same on every FIFA with. What they ask you, you know, whether your team's good, someone's out of form, um, even if someone's playing well as well, so... Um, but yeah, that's it for the press conference. Um, so going into the game against Nottingham Forest, as you can see, an unchanged lineup. Um, we pretty much, you know, we go with Pickford, Spence, Stones, Godfrey, My Myelenko, uh, Guy, uh, Decora, Awa, and then... Obviously, Gordon on the right, McNeil on the left, and Calvert Lewin up top. And what a challenge that was! We didn't get given that, and that's absolutely insane. But it's a lovely ball forward into the, the feet of Calvin Lewin, and he does put a slot that in the top right hand corner, and that just put us up 1 0 against Nottingham Forest. Very decent goal, a very beautiful play by Awa. Here we come again, Gordon into the box. Awa gets the header, but it's a good save by Henderson. We come on the break yet again with through Gordon. Gordon's an absolutely unbelievable player. Puts it across to the box. Doesn't link to Calvert-Lewin. It goes straight to McNeil and unfortunately can't get it on target. Mylenko gets it into the box. Passes it across and Awa puts it into the back of the net. And it puts us 2-0 up against Nottingham Forest. Awa has been an absolute unreal signing. Um, he just felt so good in this game. Um, I know yeah, we, we go into the second half. 2-0 up. And this lovely ball, ball played in by Decora. Calvert Lewin should have probably finished that one, but Dean Henderson puts his side still on terms of getting something out of it. But we break away with Awa and we make it 3 0. Like I said, this guy is absolutely insane. Um, you know, it's a player that we said from the start that we needed. And Nottingham Forest didn't really have much. Um, you know, these are the couple of chances that they did have um, three deflected shots and. Um, yeah, they didn't really produce much in the game. We do make three substitutions. McNeil comes off for Gray. Uh, Calvert-Lewin comes off for Mupe. And I think Gordon comes off for Vega. You know, the free agent. But there's the goal that they get. How this goes in, I don't know. I don't know whether it gets a deflection and the goalkeeper just doesn't manage to get down to it. Um, but it's a lovely finish by Dennis. Goes and hugs his manager. Um, Decora into a while and he capitalised straight away from after conceding. And what a beautiful goal that was. We do the gritty. Why not? He deserves it. I think that's his hat trick in this game as well. Awa, lovely pass in. Mupe gets it across again to Awa and he finishes it off. I think that's four goals in this game for him. And he got the assist at the start as well. So, you know, he's contributed in every single uh, play that is needed. You know, it's the player that we were after. We go straight into the Aston Villa game, um, you know, pretty much unchanged. 
Um, you know, it's a pretty strong side. And as you can see, guys, if you can like, subscribe, and make sure you have the notification bell on, it would be much appreciated for these kind of series. So, going into this game against Aston Villa, we know the very strong side. Um, and it was a very difficult game, to be fair. A good couple of chances by Aston Villa there, and you know, by the 40 million man that they signed of Rafa. Nearly puts them 1 0 ahead. But they come forward again, finds Bailey. It was a good save by Pickford. But we get the chance. Decora plays it through ball into Gordon. Gordon has a go and is a lovely save by the keeper. Their keeper seemed to have kept them in this a lot longer than what it should have. Unfortunately, Calvert Lewin doesn't manage to get the shot off. It does get deflected and it falls into the path of Decora. We do get a little bit lucky, but we do go 1 0 up. And, you know, we did play very, very well in this game. Um. You know, defensively we were pretty pretty solid, and going forward we felt felt good. It's just we just couldn't finish off in the final third, to be fair. And that was a beautiful strike by uh, Danny Ings for Aston Villa, puts them level one one. And we go into the break at one one. Um, yeah, like I say, you know, it was a very strong side, very good play, and we capitalised straight from the off of the kick off. It's a beautiful finish by Calvert Lewin, but what a back heel that was by Awa. You know, I say I said it in the game before. You know, it's a player that we've been after. You know, it's a very attackive player, very creative player, and that's what this Everton side needs going forward. We just need to be able to pull off the chances, and that's a beautiful ball into the box. Decora just doesn't get his head over it and blazes it over the bar. Decora again gets it all forward into Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin has a shot, and it's a beautiful save by the goalkeeper. Here we go. We've got Damari Gray with a free kick. I mean, we had to give it a try, didn't we? You know, we just had to. And then late into the game, this is where I thought they were going to equalise, but luckily, Jordan Pickford comes up big. And we do waste time within the box. And we just do come out with that game 2-1. So out of, out of the first two games, we do finish top of the table right now. Um, and then we have got the Carabao Cup coming up, which we are going to be playing against Wolves. We are going to go with a fully rotated side. Obviously, we don't have a, somebody to fill in for a while, so he does play in this game. And Mupe starts off with a lovely shot on target, but it does hit the post and somehow... The goal, the defender takes it back to the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper blasts it at Damari Gray, and we do go one 0 up in this game within four minutes. You know, we're thinking this is going to be a swimmingly side, you know, second string side that's going to be, you know, hopefully going through into the Carabao Cup next round. But the Wolves were unbelievable, and that's a little ball into the box, Sarabia, and what a finish that is. He is unbelievable throughout this game. There's nothing that we could have done. Again, Neves with a beautiful shot on target. <sighs> wow. Just wow. I mean, you know, in this second string side that we went with because everybody were tired and we just got absolutely dominated all over the field and that was a lovely finish yet again for the Wolves. We went 3-1 in at half-time. Straight after half-time, they went 4-1 up. You know, that's pretty much game, game set and match. You know, you may as well just give it a bit of time. Just, we just got absolutely dominated, you know, 5-1. Um, we do have a couple of chances towards the end, but it wasn't anything spectacular. But what a finish that is by Awar. You know, you, you've heard his name all the way th out throughout the episode, and it's just understandable why. And we do finish that game 5-2, so we do go out of the Carabao Cup. We do have a negotiation with... Andros Townsend, you know, it's a player that's surplus to requirements. We don't need him around the club. We've got, you know, sufficient amount of players to fill the spots. Um, we do try and get six million, but they straight offer five point five. I didn't want to mess about. Just wanted the money. Wanted him gone. Um, and we do recall Deli Ali in the end um, because I don't know whether who we're going to buy yet. So Deli Ali, welcome back to the Everton ground. We will make you a good player. Deli Ali. Showing off his skills straight away. It's a beautiful ball outside to Gordon. Inside to Calvert-Lewin. And what a finish. Deli Ali didn't feel like the the player of Avoa, uh, But, you know, we will get that player going. You know, he's got a lot of potential. 
he obviously in real life is you know his games disappeared he's not the player that everyone used to see in so poor ball by john stones the player that we brought in <laughs> anthony marshall plays for fulham i don't know whether that's a transfer or a loan but my word he were ripping those apart in this game there's a lovely ball by dele alley and vega finishes it off makes it 2-2 two, two. But yeah, Marshall, the signing for Fulham, what a signing he is. And we get into the 89th minute, the pass across the box. Pickford doesn't dive or anything for that and slots it home and it makes it 3-2 to Fulham. Disappointing, you know, We and there we see Andros Townsend leaving the club. Thank you very much for your, you, you know, for playing in your pre-season, but we don't need you around the team. We have players to fill your spot. Good luck in the future. Hope all that goes well. Um, you know, we get 5.5 million. I think that boost is up to around 12 and a half now. Uh, so going into, you know, end of the season, end of the transfer window, we do have a little bit to spend. So after them results, two wins and a loss. We are still third in the Premier League. You know, it's still early days, but what a spot that would be if we do finish there. Um, every, you know... What a play. And like I say, guys, we've got 10, 10 hours left of the transfer window. So if there's anyone you want to sign, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.